check, check. All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to what we've all been waiting for all weekend. This is the VLA 2024 East Division Cup Championship match. A rematch from one of the very first matches yesterday morning between the DC Dynasty in their first VLA Cup Series tournament ever. The DC Dynasty taking on the Tier 1 runner-ups from last year, the Boston Bounce. My name is Rob St. Clair. We're so excited that you're joining us here on the VLA YouTube channel. Match number 18 on the weekend. Actually, it might even be match number 19. Either way, a lot of volleyball here. This is the Impact Athletic Center in upstate New York near Albany. And we're really excited about this final. A ton of storylines to get to. But first, let's introduce the starting lineups. First, for the DC Dynasty in white and pink on the near side, you get Kevin McCandless out of Rutgers Newark at the center spot, Bobby Wilden and Matt Clayton at outside hitters, Dalton Bundy at opposite, Jason Perkins and Zebra Hoyt in the middles, and Kyle Marcola Gatas at Libero Dynasty are coached by Jared Tulla. And for the Boston Bounce at center, you get first team all VLA setter from last year, Colin Ritter. Also, first team all VLA outside hitter Jeff Vautrin starts alongside Ryan Love. Hunter Oshman gets the start at opposite. Rafa Burgos and Nick Kasperzak get the start at middle blockers. And Jordan Aprea gets the start for Boston at Libero in white and light purple on the far side of your screen. And we are ready to get underway. Matt Clayton, number 23 in white. Oh, they're both in white. Matt Clayton for the DC Dynasty starts us off serving on the near side. And a backcourt attack violation against Jeff Vautrin. Stepping on the service line as he went to go get that big ball. And the DC Dynasty are on the board first in this championship match. Their first ever in their first ever VLA Cup Series Tournament. The Dynasty founded this past offseason have already amassed 26 points. Ball thrown down the line by Ryan Love. Love one of several outstanding outside hitter options for the Boston Bounce. Out of Wentworth Institute of Technology in New England. And as is Colin Ritter, former college teammate at Wentworth, number 12 for Boston on the far side serving. First team all VLA last year, like I mentioned. Tight pass there. First swing of the match for Bobby Wilden is dug. And that is a net touch against the DC Dynasty. Zebra Hoyt, uh, Mikhail Hoyt, nicknamed Zebra, number 99 for DC. Spent some time playing for the national team of Trinidad and Tobago. Commits the violation there, and Boston on the far side leads 2 to 1. Love that setting from Kevin McCandless. Right back to Zebra. After the net violation, he pounds it wrist away. I kind of like this middle matchup for the DC Dynasty. Uh, Zebra Hoyt back to serve. Jason Perkins, number 11, into the front court now. Facing off against Raf Burgos and Nick Kasperzak for the Boston Bounce. Really good touch there down the line by Excuse me, by DC, but a similarly good block. Rafael Burgos, number 15 for the Boston Bounce. The middle blocker out of Puerto Rico combines with Jeff Vautrin to shut down Dalton Bundy that time. Love back to serve. These two teams played yesterday morning in the first match of pool play. That match won by the Boston Bounce, 15-13 in the fifth. So if that one is any indication, we are in for a banger here in the East Division Cup Final. Dalton Bundy, the opposite out of UCLA, back to serve, has an absolute cannon for a right arm. Well handled there. First swing by Hunter Oshman is slowed down by the block. 
And in transition, fed to Jason Perkins in the middle. Perkins, 24 years of age from Marymount University. Six foot five middle blocker, number 11 for the DC Dynasty. Excellent pass again by libero Jordan Aprea. Vautrin deep cross court. Matt Clayton is underneath it. Bobby Wilden with a swing. Blocked by Burgos and covered. Then swung out again by Wilden. Wow, look at that footwork from the big man. Bobby Wilden, number two for the DC Dynasty. Six foot eight outside hitter, 27 years of age out of Penn State University. Keep your eye on number two for DC. He will be hard to miss. Bundy just misses that one long. Good run though on his serve, despite some very good reception by Boston. They weren't able to put a couple of those away in first ball side out. Now Burgos back to serve. Kevin McCandless, the front court setter for DC, not particularly offensive. Wilden high off the block of Nick Kasperzak. Middle blocker at Endicott College for Boston. Couldn't quite get there in time to slow that one down. And now our first look at Bobby Wilden from the service line. Pretty good pass there by Love. Vautrin looking for the touch off the edge of the block. Did not find it. That ball was spinning weird from the get-go. Not perfect hand contact and the unforced error out of bounds. A little bit of VLA history for you all. This is the third year in a row that the Boston Bounce have had a very legitimate chance to win the East Division Cup tournament. They've come up empty each of the last two previous chances. With more on that in a second. Dig by Wilden. Chase down attempt by Bundy will produce a free ball. Ritter to Kasperzak. Nice set location, forcing Kasperzak to turn that ball across his body where he was able to find some open space. Hunter Oshman back to serve another Wentworth Institute of Technology product. Only 22 years of age. Clayton down the line off the block of Ritter and out of bounds. Matt Clayton, number 23 for the DC Dynasty out of UCLA. Here's Perkins. Oh, that ball is still going up. <laughs> Not good hand contact there from Perkins whatsoever. It's okay, we have all been there. If you're a jump server and that hasn't happened to you, then you're not trying hard enough. Nice cross-court swing by Clayton just inside the Boston block. And the Dynasty first ball side out early on in this championship match is looking smooth. Credit to Kevin McCandless goes back to serve here. Six foot four setter out of Rutgers, Newark. Good slow down block touch there against Love. Excellent looking transition. Clayton sharp cross court right on the sideline. In between Love and Aprea and a successful counterattack chance by the DC Dynasty starting with an outstanding block touch. Man, this team is doing it all right now in their first VLA Cup Series tournament ever. It's just remarkable what they've been able to put together in our nation's capital in such a short amount of time. It is so rare that you see brand new teams having this level of success at this style of an event. Beautiful dig right there by McCandless. Love was on the ground a split second ago. Now takes a swing. Wilden is there. This will be hittable for Clayton. Good play by Love. Oh, I don't really know what that was supposed to be from Vautrin. Now a free ball here for the Dynasty. Bundy accelerates, Oshman is there. And that is not touched by the block. Wow, Kasperzak had almost an open net to swing at there. 
couldn't come up with a point and a long rally. Goes the way of the DC Dynasty. Their lead early on is five. That's a good repeat set. I like that choice a lot from Colin Ritter. Directly back to Kasperzak after he made an open net hitting error. And uh, Kasperzak looking good in that crossbody turn shot so far. The Boston Bounce swept their Tier 1 East Division rival Northeast Force in the semifinals this morning to get here to the championship match. McCandless to Bundy is rejected. Ritter and Burgos combine for a pretty key break point for the Boston Bounce. DC Dynasty kind of shocked the tournament and uh, in a greater sense sort of the whole VLA scene by not only beating the traditionally dominant team LVC but sweeping them in the semifinal this morning. Zebra rejected by Burgos. Uh, they're Certainly going to talk about that setter hitter connection for a little while, make sure that's figured out. But good work by the Boston block coming up with two points in a row. All of a sudden, we've got a two point set. Kasperzak again, a surprisingly productive server in terms of runs generated on this standing float serve. And that ball by Clayton is hit out of bounds on the right side. Had to get his feet inside to that one. No, I agree. That ball's that's not touched. Not touched. Hit off the tape and out of bounds. But wait a second. Wait a second. What's the call here? DC's going to take that point. I'm surprised. I did not see a touch there. So either touches the call, maybe net violation, or something else. But uh, Matt Clayton's going to go back to serve. That's an interesting, interesting swing. Overpassed, Bundy to McCandless. Back to Bundy on the right side, hammered down the line but missed out of bounds. Definitely outside the sideline. I don't think it was touched either, so. Boston escapes and sends Colin Ritter back to the line. Just love Colin Ritter's all around game. Just a terrific all around volleyball player. Only about six feet tall. Super dynamic, has a lot of service variety. Goes with the float serve at Wilden there down the line. And a deep cross court swing by Wilden looking for fingertips and he got him. Touch is the call and Burgos disagrees. Now a substitution in here. Lee Olenek back up middle blocker. In for Zebra Hoyt, at least to serve. Perfect pass there by Love. Oshman high into the block, covered easily. Ritter to Oshman again, blasted cross court. I like what I'm seeing so far early by a pretty young opposite character. Hunter Oshman, number 20 on the far side for the Boston bounce. This dude can fly. Perfect pass there by Clayton. Wilden high into the block, covered. Tricky play for McCandless. Wilden again with a hittable ball. And he pounds it inside the block cross court. Look at the range from the big man. As good as Boston is all around, they're not an overwhelmingly big team. Uh, Oshman at about 6'5", probably their tallest wing anywhere on the roster. So uh, they're not used to seeing angles generated by a 6'8 guy with the contact point of Bobby Wilden. I'm curious to see if their block and defense moves around a little bit to adjust for that. into the block and that, that's that's a stuff block for sure that uh, that ball was touched last by Wilden also Wilden landed and touched the net this is unquestionably Boston's point in my opinion and it is okay that's that's good that was an impressive piece of physicality there from Hunter Oshman meet me at the top of the antenna Bobby Wilden 
Lexi De La Cruz, the backup libero for Boston, and is a serving specialist. He's handled pretty well there off the spinner. Ritter makes the defensive play. Now Oshman off the block and out of bounds. Okay, maybe a bit of a lucky swing right there. Off the tape, off the edge of the arm of Perkins and outside the sideline. We got a tie game here, ladies and gentlemen, at 14-14. It seems like DC controlled this thing early. Wilden blasted deep cross court against really just one blocker and that is an all-time mismatch. Excellent setting from Kevin McCandless and uh, the Boston service substitution is undone. Wilden back to serve. Man, there is some funky movement on that ball. Not a whole lot of pure spin. Uh, fortunately for Boston, he misses the end line there. Now Oshman back to serve. Clayton accelerates, but Kasprzak is there to meet him. Off the block and down on the DC side, and the Boston Bounce have taken the lead. After a bit of a slow start. Counter-attack chance, Vautrin rolls it down the line. Wilden out of the back row, is stuffed straight down. Jeff Vautrin there, ready to block the pipe. Okay, the Boston bounce, stringing a couple points together on their serve. Seventeen, fifteen for Oshman. Chopped down the line by Clayton off the tape and that redirection confused, confused Oshman and DC back within one. Now they're another service substitution. This is Matt Friddle, number seven for the DC Dynasty. I think this is Friddle's third VLA team he's played for, if I'm not mistaken, a Chicago native, now living in DC. Perfect pass there. Kasprzak slowed down by a good block touch. But Wilden's dig is negated by a net violation, I believe, by Olenek. And that service substitution is undone. So three of DC's six substitutions used so far in the first set. Vautrin back to serve is very dangerous. Wilden overpasses it, but Kasprzak hits it out of bounds. That is a big break for the DC Dynasty. A wide open net overpass error. That is unfortunate. After Jeff Vautrin produced a perfect serve for the Boston Bounce. Can DC capitalize? Let's see. Love on the outside blocked and covered. Love, deep cross court again. That ball into the ceiling, still alive until now. It falls on the DC side. We are playing the ball off the ceiling this weekend. These ceilings are pretty high, too. But there's a couple uh, basketball hoops and some weird geometry, and we just wanted, for the sake of continuity, to play it off the ceiling. And uh, with as hard as these guys are hitting the ball, that probably won't be the last one we see go up there. Clayton on the right side. Pretty good play there by Oshman. Back to DC. Clayton again. Cross court this time. Missed it out of bounds. Good block alignment there by Ryan Love. And look at this. The Boston Bounce have grabbed the three point lead at 20 to 17. Timeout DC, their first of the set.
mentioned earlier, I want to expand on the, the Boston Bounce's history in this particular tournament and the, the first ever edition of the East Division Cup in 2022. The Boston Bounce lost in the final three sets to none to a, basically a brand new tier two team at the time, Team ECV out of Cleveland, which has since become the Cleveland Kong. So a missed opportunity there for Boston in the final against the Tier 2 team. Last year, they led in the semis against the Kentucky Unicorns here in this building for losing that semifinal in five. Out of the timeout, the error made there by Ryan Love. But now with DC taking out Team LVC from upstate New York earlier this morning and Boston uh, fighting through the Northeast Force this morning, Boston now sees only a Tier 2 team once again, standing between them and the East Division Cup title, but this is not just any Tier 2 team. Just out of bounds there on the serve by Clayton. This DC Dynasty team is legit. You do not beat Team LVC in their home area by accident. Twenty-one eighteen, Boston, Ritter back to serve. Perfect pass and destroyed in the middle by Olenek. Welcome to the game, Lee Olenek. Six foot six, 26 year old from Norfolk, Virginia. Oshman flies on the left side, Wilden is there. Bundy in counterattack, comes up short. Difficult ball. That's a ball that's got to at least be kept in play for the DC Dynasty. And now Love back to serve for Boston. Excellent dig there by Ritter against the middle. Oshman in transition. Finds an angle deep cross court. That is fast, fast transition from defense to offense for the Boston Bounce. Timeout Dynasty, their second and final. It is 23-19 in the first set. Ryan Love serving for the Boston Bounce out of the timeout. Going to put the finishing touches on set number one and get one step closer to the East Division Cup trophy. Bobby Wilden's got something to say about that, or does he? That ball is not touched by the block. Comes up short into the top tape, and we've got set point bounce. Man, it looked like DC had control of this first set, maybe halfway through. I've been very impressed by Boston's ability to at least touch a couple balls on the block, dig a couple balls. And one of the big differences for me in the teams that have success in tournaments like this, especially as they go long and you're playing a ton of volleyball, it's when you do dig or block touch a ball or when you do get a chance in transition, can you better the ball, hit, put up a good secondary setter ball, usually a bump set from somewhere weird, and take a swing. Can you legitimately get an offensive look in transition? That is not always a given. Much needed sight out there for the Dynasty. Bundy on the right side through the block and down. So one set point saved. And now another substitution. Alex Melbardis, number 15, into the front court at opposite. And AJ Schmidt, number nine, into the backcourt at setter. So a 6-2 substitution here for the DC Dynasty. They have one sub left. Hey, 
And it's not going to matter there. Uh, counting substitutions at all as Schmidt comes up just short. And the first set goes the way of the Boston Bounce. 25-20 over the DC Dynasty. They take the first set. And first blood is drawn by last year's Tier 1 runners-up in the playoffs. One step closer to the East Division Cup trophy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Rob St. Clair here, and this, this is the East Division Cup trophy. This will go to the winner of this match. And uh, there's a lot on the line for both teams if they were to win this beautiful cup right here. For the Boston Bounce, it would mean an automatic playoff spot. They would go directly to the Tier 1 playoffs, and they would have uh, the inside track, at the very least, to win the Tier 1 East Division for the first time ever. That division has been owned by Team LBC for the past two years since Boston has been a Tier 1 franchise. If they were to win this tournament and take this cup, the only way that Boston could not win the East Division is if Team LBC were to go into Madison, Wisconsin in May and win the VLA Cup, which is possible. Uh, that will be the biggest tournament in league history and a very difficult one to win. So a lot on the line here for Boston as they look to go to the playoffs for the third straight year and only their third year as a Tier 1 franchise. But for the DC Dynasty, winning this cup right here immediately puts them in the very upper echelon of, of teams in this entire league, Tier 1 or Tier 2. If you win one of these cup tournaments, that stays on your record forever until you get promoted to Tier 1. You automatically get better seeding in future tournaments. Uh, you're one step closer to promotion. And with DC not having existed for even a full year yet, to get one of these trophies this early would be monumental and I believe would be a record in VLA history for the earliest to ever win a, a, a cup, any, any one of our Divisional Cup Series tournaments. Uh, nobody has ever won one of these things in their first attempt as a Tier 2 team. So uh, a lot on the line, and uh, these two teams have figured each other out decently well, especially having seen each other yesterday morning. And after sort of a feeling out process there early in the first, uh, I'm ready for a lot more volleyball here, and so are they. Uh, looks like we're ready to go with set number two. Olenek in the middle gets the start this set for the DC Dynasty. Number 17 now on the far side. Looks like Zebra Hoyt's on the bench dealing with some sort of discomfort. I can't tell what it is that he's working through over there. He got subbed out in the middle of the first and uh, he's been kind of working on, I think, his, one of his legs over there on the bench ever since. I don't have a great look at it. But Olenek goes back to serve here and he and Perkins will be the DC middles for the foreseeable future. Borgos in the middle just destroyed. Wow, look at the big Puerto Rican pound that ball. Borgos, 29 years of age, has a dual citizenship with Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Here is Ryan Love. Oh, it trickles over the tape, and Wilden can't get underneath it. A lucky break for the Boston Bounce as Colin Ritter hits the frog pose. The Boston Purple Frogs, one of my personal favorite brand identities in the VLA. Love the light purple they're rocking this year with their brand new novice clothing company threads. Love misses that serve out of bounds. Big shout outs to Novice, by the way. Um, Check them out everywhere. Novice Clothing Company based up here in upstate New York. Uh, they always do a great job opening their doors for the VLA when we are here in town. But uh, the growth of the VLA and the growth of Novice, especially their volleyball division, those two things happening at the same time, that is not a coincidence. And an amazing partnership with Novice. As uh, we were just talking to the guys earlier, and uh, they were shocked to learn, as you, as you all probably will be too, that the latest total number of teams in the Volleyball League of America is up to 70. 7-0. Another hitting, there, hitting error there by Oshman for Boston. Yes, that is, a, that is a fact. There are 70 
active teams in the Volleyball League of America between men's tier one, men's tier two, and the women's side. 70 teams, just an amazing number, an amazing achievement for building volleyball in this country. There's the side out that Boston was looking for. Oshman through the block and out of bounds. Wow, that ball is hit so high. Man, Hunter Oshman, uh, the right side blocker there for Boston, is up there. His front jersey number is over the net, and Bobby Wilden just went straight over the top of him. Man, that is impressive. Wilden back to serve. Pretty good ball there by Aprea. Look at that one-handed feed out to Vatran, but the block for the DC Dynasty is even better. I think the setter McCandless got most of that one. Perkins there as well. Nice block. Uh, all around blocking work there for DC. They lead 6-3 here in the second. Make it 6-4 as that serve hits my camera. I'm going to go realign that briefly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Camera looks just fine. Here is Jeff Vautrin on the near side serving for his Boston bounce. Down by one. Oh, what a block by Nick Kasprzak. Saw that coming from a mile away. Nowhere for Olenek to go. Big time one-on-one -on -one read by number 22 for the Boston bounce. Tied up at seven with authority. Wow, Vautrin is just teeing off on that ball. Clayton against a triple block. What a smart pull. Look at Colin Ritter yank his hands away. That is brilliant by number 12 in white and purple. I love that play. Knew that Clayton's only chance was to swing for the fingertips and try and hit the back wall. Ritter at the last second yanked the hands away. I love that play. Boston takes the lead. More good serving from Vautrin, forces the overpass. Ritter, Love, high hands, pretty good touch, but that is into the antenna before Ritter can make a play on it. Pretty good effort by DC libero Kyle Marcola Gatas, but not enough. Vautrin continues his service run. Jeff Vautrin, the founder of the Boston Bounce franchise back in 2021. They were promoted to VLA Tier 1 the following season. Great serve down the line and another overpass as he set the bick here. No to Kasperzak in the middle, dug by Wilden. Right on top of the net. Wilden now on the right side out of the back row has a swing. Oshman is there. What a play by Ritter to keep it alive. And that is a net touch against Boston. DC takes a much needed point.
McCandless back to serve. Good blocking rotations here for DC. Ritter to Love. I love that tempo. No pun intended. Man, Ryan Love is starting his approach well before that ball is in Colin Ritter's hands. That connection goes all the way back to their days at Wentworth. A good Division Three program in New England, uh, recently ranked number one in the country in Division Three. I like that float serve by Kasperzak. Got some good movement on it. Clayton jams that ball down the line on a power tip. I, I agree with the no call on a throw there. That looked clean to me. Kept that ball in front of him. Clayton back to serve. Florida native out of UCLA, now living in D.C. Nice service pressure, forces an overpass, and Dalton Bundy, Clayton's teammate on the club team at UCLA, puts it away on the overpass swing. Good leave there. Clayton misses it out of bounds. Ritter back to serve for the Boston bounce. 11-10. Generally a pretty balanced game. Marcola Gatas with a very good pass down the line. High swing by Wilden is recycled. Bundy cross court off of Ritter's hands. Vautrin a good looking chase down can't quite get there and we're tied up at 11. I like that recycle by love tight set off the block of Wilden gets it back and Oshman on the left side, able to have a swing. That is smart volleyball there from Ryan Love. Trapped on the right side against a massive blocker and knew that there was nothing he could do. Smartly reset it off the block, got it back on his side and allowed his team to have a second chance swing. It's good volleyball there. Love back to serve. And uh, I think just a one-for-one one setter substitution in here for the DC Dynasty. AJ Schmidt in for Kevin McCamless. Really just a more physical blocking presence. So a one-for-one one setter sub probably just for this front court rotation. Or this trip through the front court anyway. Vautrin against the one-on-one. -on -one. Good scoop there by Clayton. And a flying bump set to Bundy is dug on the Boston side. Nice shot by Oshman. Look how high he is. It's up so high that he's able to pause and identify a weakness in the block before tapping it off the outside hand. Man, this Hunter Oshman kid is physical. I like his game. Substitution on the Boston side, Alex Raskant, backup setter who uh, was the starting setter in the Boston 3-0 win over the Northeast Force in the semis. Good left-handed spin server off the bench. Can he put this ball in play? He can. That is able to be chased down by Bundy by the back curtain, but now a free ball. Lightning fast ball, the Vautrin is overset. The ball is too high by Ritter for Vautrin to get. That would have been the maybe the fastest go ball set I may have ever seen. But Boston comes up empty off the excellent serve of Raskin. Wilden back to serve for DC. Vautrin and a more traditionally set ball. <laughs> but, uh, a little more conservative in terms of tempo there from Ritter and Vautrin turns his shoulders down the line to terminate. Really good pass by Bundy, the opposite who steps into the passing pattern there. Wilden lights up a Preya down the line. But over by the spectators, Oshman and Ritter both diving. 
can't quite bring it back. That is a really cool wrinkle in the DC offense. They're able to manipulate where their wings are because of Dalton Bundy's ability to pass the ball. Can step in and pass, allow Wilden to shift out to the right side and swing in that rotation. Practically just two interchangeable players, and that's an ace serve. Right into the seam, Jason Perkins. Brilliantly located right between Vautrin and Love. And the Dynasty takes the lead. Perkins again, not as good hand contact this time, goes out of bounds, but you'll take that every day of the week, especially if you're an aggressive middle blocker, jump serving, one ace, one service error, that is no problem. A lot of teams at this high of a level look for a ratio of one ace to every three service errors as a team. Even that ratio is acceptable. One to two is a good ratio. Big time block, but even better coverage. Oh, a little over aggressive though from Wilden trying to take a swing at that. I thought, I think everybody in the gym thought that stuff blocked by Ritter was gonna be good enough to score. Eventually it was. Uh, good job though by the Dynasty hanging in there in coverage. 16-15, now Boston leads. Vautrin with a good trip to the service line last time around. Not the same luck this time. And now Kevin McCandless, the original starting setter, comes back in for the Dynasty to serve. Oh, just out of bounds off the block of Clayton. Oshman thought he had a wide open net there, and I did too. Clayton came out of nowhere, but wasn't able to keep that block touch inside the court. Service substitution here, Lexi De La Cruz, the libero out of Puerto Rico. is the backup libero anyway in this match for Boston. In to serve and play defense for Kasperzak. Rotation one receive here for the DC Dynasty. Clayton and Bundy switched on the wings. Heck of a fight off pass right there. Clayton through the block, Ritter is underneath it. Love, two-handed set down the line to take McCandless out of the play. Marcola Gatas to Bundy, who puts it away on the left side. That was, that was two really nice plays by number one in black. Kyle Marcola Gatas on the far side. The libero out of Marymount University, only 23 years of age. Excellent fight off pass and then a good set. Another important libero skill, being able to step in there and set the ball. I'm going to swap that volleyball in for a drier one. Head coach Jared Tullop uh, patrolling the sidelines of the DC Dynasty. Deserves a lot of the credit for putting such an outstanding team together in such a short amount of time. What a pass right there by Love. Vautrin out of the back row. Excellent read on the block by Wilden, but cover. Now Love on a tight ball. Somehow finds some space down the line. Oh my goodness. I have no idea how he found space there between the antenna and the outside of the block. That was crazy. Oh man, Boston bench loving it. One point bounce lead, Colin Ritter. First team all VLA center back at the line. Targeting Wilden down the line, not a great pass. Bundy on the right side, dug by Aprea. Vautrin out of the back row, just sends it over. Wilden batches that ball into my broadcast table. Terrible hand contact, never had a chance. And a big break point there on the serve of Colin Ritter for the Boston bounce to go up by two. Very interesting turn of events right there. Tight pass, overpassed in fact. Love, dug by Clayton. 
Wilden sends it over. Aprea is there. This will be Oshman against two blockers and a massive move by Wilden to shut him down. What a clutch block by number two for DC. Potentially a set saving block right there by Bobby Wilden, the big man out of Penn State. Alex Melbardis once again in the match for DC, this time as a serving specialist. Burgos in the middle, crossbody, no problem. Some really interesting mechanical stuff going on there with Rafa Burgos. Sometimes, uh, looks like sometimes to me, he switches his footwork and jumps with his right foot as his last step. Got some weird shoulder action as well, but especially in the middle, if it works, it works. Oh, pretty good touch right there by the late blocking effort of Burgos, but uh, not enough to slow down Bundy. One point game. Dalton Bundy, one of the most dangerous servers in the tournament. Now would be a really good time for some service pressure. Pretty good fight off by Vautrin. Oshman blocked and covered again. Amazing cover by Love. Chance here, Wilden for the tie. Love makes another play on defense. Wilden a third time. Another play by Love that's inside the antenna somehow. Tight set and it's stuffed straight down. Unbelievable. Ryan Love with the defensive sequence of a lifetime. And a momentum shift forces a DC timeout. That was spectacular. Ryan Love in middle back defense. A straight down block coverage dig to keep it alive and then two amazing chase downs in the deep position five corner for a two point Boston lead. That was spectacular. How does the dynasty respond after that crazy play? They trail by two, receiving Ryan Love's serve right here. Dynasty still very much alive in this second set, no doubt about that. It could use a nice, easy first ball side out conversion right about here. And they get it even easier. Excellent timeout from Jared Tulla. Love misses the serve. Now Bobby Wilden with a chance to do some damage. The DC Dynasty trailing by one. Well, once again, dry off the volleyball. Colin Ritter having a conversation with our down official. Now it's Wilden's turn to have an impact. But it's not the one that he was looking for. His jump spin serve comes up way short. 22-20 Boston. Burgos with a big smile on his face. Float serves that ball on Wilden's hands. Perkins on the back one, tipped and in. Smart recognition, knowing there's no libero on the floor for Boston in that rotation, and Burgos is probably not gonna make that play, and uh, pretty good bet right there by Perkins pays off. Another service substitution for DC, Matt Friddle once again, the backup setter. Well, Friddle, sort of a utility player, can play just about any position. But uh, his job right here is to Serve this ball in the court and with some pressure. Hey. 
That is out of bounds, no touch by Vautrin. Wow, Wilden was sitting there basically underneath that ball in position six defense and chose to let it go, and he was right. We're tied up at 22, a huge break point there for DC. Perfect pass by Aprea. Vautrin off speed, Friddle is there with the defensive play. Wilden for the lead, puts it away deep cross court. What a dig by Matt Friddle. Dynasty leads 23-22 on a 3-0 run. Friddle again. Perfect pass. Kasperzak is blocked in the middle. Yes, that's right on the sideline. What a block by Lee Olenek. Incredibly clutch, and the run on Matt Friddle's serve continues. And after this Boston timeout, the DC Dynasty are going to have a set point of their own. What a turnaround this is. Perfect pass out of the timeout. Oshman dug by Friddle again. Back to the Boston side. Kasper Zak dug by Bundy, I think. Clayton takes a rip at it as he should, but he missed it out of bounds. Good defense all around in that run by the DC Dynasty. But one set point is saved. And now it all comes up to Hunter Oshman. At least he'll get a chance after a DC timeout. A good choice there by Jared Tulla. time right about here for Hunter Oshman to think about this jump spin serve that he's about to attempt. Set point dynasty trying to tie this championship match at one set apiece. We already talked about the stakes, how important this would be for Boston's season, for Boston's just their, their mentality and validating what they've been working on since joining tier one three years ago. Can Oshman on his serve here force overtime? Keeps it in play. Clayton for the set, dug beautifully by Aprea. Back to DC. Tight pass. Joust is won by Boston. Clayton can't keep it alive. Jeff Vautrin flexes to his bench after winning a joust against Kevin McCandless to push this second set to overtime. 24-24, first to get two points clear, will take it. Oshman serving again. Now can be a little more aggressive if, he, if he's feeling it. Tight pass. Olenek has to tip. Love out of the back row! Through the block of Olenek off the head of McCandless and out of here. What a defensive sequence that was. And Love with the confidence to take a swing. Now it's set point Boston. What a crazy second set this is. A big run by the bounce. A big run by the Dynasty. Dynasty had two set points. Now Oshman... Serving to go up two to nothing in the final. Perfect pass. Wilden out of the back row, down the line, off the tape. Aprea is there. This could be it. Vautrin off the block and out of bounds. Unbelievable. A four to nothing run for the Boston bounce. Down 24-22 to come back and steal it 
26-24. The Boston bounce leads two sets to none. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, wow. Talk about some drama. That is, uh, that second, the end of that second set had it all. Incredible defense by both teams. Some clutch blocking, some really clutch serving, just putting pressure on keeping balls in play with the set on the line. But it was the DC Dynasty with the 4 nothing run, answered by a 4 nothing Boston run to push the set over the finish line 26-24. Now the question is, as it kind of is in all two sets to none situations, the team leading 2-0, it's about their focus. It's about the Boston Bounce's level of focus uh, to keep their execution level high enough regardless of the set score. And uh, knowing the stakes, trying to grab one of these. And uh, just to keep the focus on their side, keep their energy level high, and, uh, and try to get this thing done maybe even in a sweep. And for the DC Dynasty, the question is of energy. Do they have the physical energy after this being their fifth match of the weekend? Do they have the physical energy to, to even start to make this comeback. Down 0-2 is a daunting place to be. Uh, but reverse sweep comebacks have happened many times in VLA history and they will continue to happen. Even the last VLA Cup Series tournament we had in Cincinnati about three weeks ago, the Central Division Cup started off with a 2-0 lead for the River City Flow from Richmond, Virginia over the Milwaukee Dive. I asked the exact same question at the time. Is River City going to have the focus? Is Dive going to have the energy for the comeback? Turned out, Dive had the energy for the comeback, pushed it all the way back to set five before uh, Flo won it in the end. So uh, this match is far from over, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep that in mind for this third set. DC's energy versus Boston's focus. Looks like we're about ready to go here. Oh, look at that! What a way to start set three, a pineapple. What a beautiful choice. Colin Ritter, uh, Loy Ball would be proud of that one if he's watching somewhere. Uh, the pineapple, that right-handed deep setter dump to the position five corner, literally trademarked by Loy Ball and used to great effect there by Ritter to start this third set. Tipped over by Bundy. Excellent chance in transition here. Oshman against two blockers. Nice high flat shot off the block and out of bounds. That was really smart. Two massive blockers in front of him. Just sort of punched that thing sidearm to try and get the deflection wide of the sideline, and he did. Boston is just playing superior volleyball right now. Despite that... Uh, Pretty lackluster service error from Ritter, but again, does DC have the physical and mental energy to even attempt a comeback of the magnitude that it will require if they're going to win this tournament? Excellent high shot by Oshman again. This guy has just been outstanding. Ryan Love, uh, sort of the hero of that second set with that one play, or that one point where he made three terrific defensive plays in a row. Perkins in the middle, scoop by Ritter. Nice job getting underneath it. That ball set, though, too far outside for Oshman to have a swing. Free ball chance. Bundy with a line wide open. Good scoop there by Aprea. But Vautrin can't quite get to it up by our up official before it hits the antenna. Big shout out, by the way, to our up official, Deb LaValle, who coordinates all of our officials for the East Division. Just does an outstanding job in uh, this event. And really, this VLA volleyball in this portion of the country would probably not happen without Deb, La Deb LaValle. So big shout outs to her. 
Nice fight off pass there by Vautrin off the tape. Oshman high into the block of Wilden and rejected. That is not an easy block to try and challenge. We saw Oshman win the challenge a few points ago. That time, Wilden comes out on top, literally on top. He is so high in the air. Oh, what a block one-on-one. -on -one. Kevin McCandless, the DC setter. That is a huge move to shut down one of the best outside hitters in the league and Jeff Fautrin. Man, that was awesome. Pretty good serving run there by Dalton Bundy. Comes to an end on the air short. We're tied up at four. Both these teams playing some pretty inspired defense here lately. Burgos, the middle blocker, is going to have to play some defense here against Wilden, but there is no defending against that. That is straight over the top of the block. We're off the fingertips and no chance. Unstoppable right there from number two for DC. Not the best serve right there from Oshman to come up short. Now Perkins' turn. And a similar result. Let's see if Vautrin can give us some volleyball to watch. Excellent pass by Bundy. Again, the opposite stepping into the passing pattern. Frees up Wilden on the right side. What a chase down again by Love. The Boston defense is everywhere. Clayton dug by Vautrin. Raiders underneath it. Love to terminate. Not good hand contact, and he missed it out of bounds. Man, that could have been an insane momentum turning point, but Love maybe jumped a tiny bit too early, not sure. But uh, unforced error there re-gives the dynasty the lead by one. Nice feed there by Ritter to Kasperzak. Giving him a ton of confidence and diving effort there by McCamless and Wilden in the back row. and. I, I have been hearing that Bobby Wilden has been fighting through some lower back pain throughout this tournament. He spent a little bit more time on the ground after diving there than the DC Dynasty would like. Uh, Wilden is back up. Looks like he's good to continue, but we'll keep an eye on that. Definitely hoping for the best for one of the most impressive players in this tournament. Pretty good pass by Wilden. That is slowed down. Love now with the roll shot in transition. Clayton is there. No, excuse me, Wilden to, to make the defensive play. Now Ritter on the free ball chance. Burgos somehow threw the block and dug. Oh, and I, I honestly, I like Wilden taking a rip at that. It comes up a little bit short. I do not know how the dynasty even scooped that ball up through the run block in the first place. Man, I was just thinking. We're going to be naming an all-tournament team from this event as we do at every VLA Cup Series tournament. This is going to be a difficult all-tournament team to name. There have been just too many great players. Oh, smart tip there by Olenek in the middle. Caught Burgos reaching a little bit.
high by Ryan Love, right through the arms of Olenek, I believe. It's not a bad block move. If the uh, ball's going right between your arms, it means you're in the right spot. Just sort of bad luck. Nine serving eight for Colin Ritter. Beautiful run right there. A little bit of a, like a one and a half tempo situation. Giving Olenek a little bit more time to see the block and choose a shot to hit. Olenek to serve. Just trying to keep a float serve in play. Oh no, bad hand contact though. Owen oh, didn't really have a chance. Here's Love. Excellent pass. One-handed feed from McCandless to the outside, dug by Love. Another one-handed set. <laughs> and Vatran tries to give himself the self-alley-oop there. <laughs> Basically caught that ball with his left hand, fed it into his right hand, and sent it over. That uh, I know we typically call double contacts in the VLA, but... Uh, that is, in fact, a double contact. <laughs> Deb LaValle, our up official, laughing about it. It was a fun play. Tight pass. Wilden right on top of the net. Pounds it, I think, off the head of Ritter and out of here. Excellent service pressure by Dalton Bundy. No luck there as Bundy misses it out of bounds. And now Raskin comes in off the bench. He's been effective in this role throughout this tournament, throughout his VLA career. Pretty good one there. Marcola Gatas handles it nicely. A slide to Perkins. Nice read by Raskin on the off speed. Now Oshman blocked by Wilden and covered. Oh, Oshman throws over a tip into the middle of the DC Dynasty court and nobody is there to pick it up. That play has got to be made and head coach Jared Tulla of DC knows it. Raskin again with a one point lead. This time comes up just short. Wilden trying to put this DC Dynasty team on his back. Too tight of a pass, and the one-handed set attempt by Ritter can't be retrieved by Oshman. So a little hybrid float-looking mix-up there from Wilden pays off, and DC retakes the lead at 13-12 here in the third. Better pass there by Love. Oshman hammered off the block of Clayton and out of here. Man, I've been really impressed by Hunter Oshman this tournament. Especially that clutch serving run that helped Boston win set number two. Here he is in a similar spot, tied up at 13. What's he got here? Bundy steps in to pass a perfect ball. Destroyed in the middle by Perkins. What a bomb that was, crossbody by number 11. Once again, in comes Matt Friddle for the DC Dynasty for the third set in a row. Went on a big run late in the second set his last time out. Dug a couple balls as well. Decent pass by Love. Oshman out of the back row, down the line. Brilliantly located. That sort of langle shot, as we call it. Outside the blocker, but way inside the sideline and the wing defender. Good luck stopping that. Tied up again, Vautrin to serve. Oh, 
Weldon fights it off. Clayton against two blockers, off the tape cross court and out of bounds, no touch. Unforced error there, gives Boston a one point lead and this is a pretty good rotation potentially for Boston to run some points. DC's two most dangerous arms in Bundy and Wilden, both in the back court, and both looking like they're in the receiving pattern right now. Looks like they got a four-man serve receive going. Good ball there by Bundy. Olenek tipped in the middle. Ritter, one hand out to Love. McCandless sends it over, which is easily handled. Now Love against the one-on-one -on -one puts it down. I do not like that choice by Kevin McCandless. That two-handed center dump is um, almost never a good choice, but Boston was all over that one. It looked basically like a free ball. It made DC pay for it, and a two-point Boston lead has sort of unlocked this stalemate that we've had here the last several points. 16-14 bounce. It's getting, gonna get pretty good here late in the third set. Could this be it for the East Division Cup? or will we play more volleyball? Pretty pivotal point right here out of the timeout. Can Jeff Vautrin extend this lead for his team? He uh, goes relatively conservatively on the serve. Wilden out of the back row, off the late block of Kasperzak and out of bounds. Exactly what DC needed to get out of that rotation and send McCandless back to serve. Bundy to the front row. And they've put themselves in position to do a bit of damage here. Nice block touch there by Bundy to slow it down. Clayton in transition off the head of Ritter. <laughs> Look at that. Good sportsmanship there by Clayton afterwards because we saw that play in the second set where Ritter pulled his hands away and forced Clayton into the air. That time did the same thing, but Clayton was one step ahead, hit that ball downwards and clipped off the head of Ritter and out of bounds. So break point there for DC. We're tied up at 16. Love over the block. Nice touch by Marcola Gatas. Clayton down the line is dug by Oshman. Oh, and a miscommunication. Love and Ritter sort of faked each other out on that play. The ball falls and DC takes the lead. What a timeout it was that they called to immediately produce a three nothing run. Ooh, two-handed throwdown attempted by Ritter. Kept alive, but sent back over as a free ball. Where does Ritter go now? To the middle. Kasper Zak puts it away, no problem. Tied up at 17. Both teams starting to play a little bit of chess here with using their benches. Lexi De La Cruz, the backup libero, once again in for Boston to serve on the far side and hopefully play some defense. That jump spin serve though goes out of bounds. Well watched by Marcola Gatas. One point DC lead, Matt Clayton back to serve. Rotation six received for Boston Ritter is a front court setter, decent pass. Oshman out of the back row is stuffed by Wilden. One on one and no coverage there. That is a huge point on the serve of Matt Clayton and no timeout from Boston. I'm a little bit surprised. They led by two just a moment ago and now a four point swing since the last DC timeout. Tight pass. Ritter though wins the joust. Throws it through the block of Olenek. Just got underneath him just enough. 
crucial play there for the Boston setter, Colin Ritter, who goes back to serve now. Float serve choice this time. Wilden cross court, beautiful dig by Aprea, but right on the net. And Dalton Bundy pounds that one with authority. Been a little on the quieter side this match. I mean, Dalton Bundy has maybe been DC's best offensive player, at the very least their second best offensive player, along with Bobby Wilden this entire tournament. There's no way DC would be here without Dalton Bundy's contributions, but he has been a little quieter in this final. That swing was anything but quiet. 2018 DC. Alex Melbardis once again in off the bench as a serving specialist, and that's a good one. Even better pass, though, and crossbody. Raf Burgos finds the deep position one corner. Very nice pass into the first ball side, ex side out execution there by the Boston Bounce. Wilden high off the block and out of bounds. Oshman upset with the inability to control the direction of that touch. Still a two point dynasty lead. Excellent pass there by Aprea. Vautrin blasted off the block of Perkins and out of here. Bounce within one. Gonna get interesting here late in the third set. If, uh, if Boston wants the cup now, they're going to have to earn it in the biggest way. And sometimes those last couple points of a set of a match of a championship can be the hardest. Good block, decent coverage. Back over the net. Now Oshman with a swing for the tie. Clayton into the ceiling. Free ball chance now for Boston. Ritter, Oshman, cross court. Bundy is there, but underneath the net it goes. We are tied up at 21, and Kevin McCandless is going to come back in for A.J. Schmidt to set the D.C. side. Not a great pass. Wilden against two blockers. Slowed down. Love can't quite control the dig, though. That's one that Boston might want to have back. That was a good serve and a good block defense setup situation. But Bobby Wilden with yet another kill. Again, he is pushing through a very sore lower back. Probably an upper back as well with um, his team riding on his shoulders. Excellent pass by Aprea again. Vautrin through the block. Uh, McCamless just exposed a, enough of a seam late for Vautrin to find and tie us up at 22. Oshman with a big chance here from the service line. Keeps it in play. Clayton against two blockers. A field goal. That is right through the arms of Colin Ritter. Man, those two have gone back and forth in the attack versus block area. And it's been pretty fun to watch. That one, the latest, goes to Clayton. Maybe getting a little lucky there on the field goal. Good block touch there to slow down Kasperzak. Clayton for a two-point lead. Down the line, Oshman with a touch. Oh, pretty much a wide-open net, though, for Vatra, and Bundy makes the play. Now Clayton with another field goal. No way. Right through the arms of Colin Ritter's block twice in a row. That is crazy. And now a Boston timeout. They finally choose to call one as they'll be facing set point at 24-22 on the other side. But we saw this exact same score in set number two. DC had two set points, one on their serve, one in reception. Couldn't get either. 
And it was part of a four to nothing Boston run to win that set 26-24. That is in the back, or probably not even the back, the front of the minds of both of these teams. The server will be Jason Perkins, the middle blocker. How aggressive is he going to choose to be? Perkins for the set, 24-22 Dynasty. Stays down with the float serve and Aprea flight fights it off. Vautrin to stay alive is dug by Wilden. Right on the net, Clayton has to turn around, try and find the ball and can't. Very difficult play. And it results in an error, one set point saved. Now Jeff Vautrin, the founder of the Boston franchise. Back to back, first team all VLA outside hitter. Serving to force overtime, set point number two for DC. Controlled serve, perfect pass. Wilden to stay alive, down the line, but a net touch by the Boston block. A net violation against the Boston block, and DC wins set number three. Wow. No argument either from Ryan Love, who was called for the net violation by the down official. He admitted it immediately, and uh, not the most convincing ways to finish, but the DC Dynasty do stay alive, and we've got at least one more set of volleyball here for you in the East Division Cup Final. And I will be right back, as I have to go make one change to our camera. We're not going to see anything for just a minute. But we will be back to the match, hopefully in time for the start of set number four.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, our camera is back. We are ready to go for set number four, the Boston Bounce. Unable to close it in the third. DC took it 25-23, and here we are with this championship still, still very much up for grabs. And that ball can't be brought back by Ritter out of the bottom of the net. And the question continues to be, does DC have the energy to continue this comeback? Does Boston have the focus to get it done here? Oh, a big block by Bundy against Oshman. Wow, look at Dalton Bundy climb the ladder. the tape and out of bounds goes Ryan Love. Ooh, Aprea wasn't sure if that was going in bounds or not. It is still alive, but a free ball chance here for the dynasty. Wilden is rejected by Oshman, wow. What a clutch saving block right there from the Boston Bounce. That day, they, they <laughs> honestly, they had no business winning that point. That was a heck of a serve from Dalton Bundy. Another block. Look at that. Oshman and Kasperzak combining again. Boston ties us up at four here early on. I, man, every middle blocker's favorite thing is when his right side blocker helps with the middle attack. That is uh, a valuable thing. Oh, another two-handed setter dump attempt by McCamless. Thrown back. Wilden now down the line. Nice high shot off of Ritter and out of bounds. Kevin McCandless unsuccessful so far with this two-hand set over dump attempt. And if it were up to me, I would never see that play again. <laughs> I do not like that play very much. That service error misses out of bounds just barely. Pretty good serve here from Oshman. McCamless is able to chase it down. Bundy with a swing, an even better touch by Aprea. Now Vautrin in counterattack is dug. Block from Kasperzak, still alive. Clayton to nobody in particular. Bundy sends it over. Kasperzak, wow, what a touch by Clayton. Amazing block touch, but an even better block. Look at Nick Kasperzak. This kid is all over the place. That is an awesome blocking sequence by number 22 in white and purple. Oh, and a serve. Hunter Oshman with a little bit of knuckly action on that one. Right in the seam between Bundy and Wilden, I believe. The four-man serve receive unit for the DC Dynasty and still not enough to stop Hunter Oshman's serve. And that was a little more of a changeup. I really like it, though. Rolled short. 
Good pass. Clayton off the block of Ritter and out of bounds. Perkins staying down on the float serve. Actually, a really good hand pass by Aprea. Rolled by Vautrin. Right on top of the net. The pineapple attempted, and it's somehow kept alive. Love sends it over. Oh, a little sort of windmill action. Matt Clayton somehow. Like a windmill swing against no block. That was pretty cool. You don't see that very often. There's a guy by the name of Irvin Ingapet, who international volleyball fans will certainly be familiar with, who's the MVP of the 2021 Olympics when the French men won gold. He's famous for some pretty wacky shots like that, but uh, not very many windmills in the VLA in anyone's regular rotation. Good block touch there, but even better coverage. Wow, Wilden somehow keeps that ball inside the antenna and over the net, but Kasperzak, against basically no block, is able to put it away. What a set that time by Colin Ritter. Boston leads 9-7. Vautrin back to serve. Is this a momentum turning run? It could be. Not a good pass by Wilden, and he will hit it to Vautrin's hands. Great chance in transition. Oshman dug by Bundy in position six. Oh, what a dig by Aprea. One-handed stab. But unfortunately unhittable for Oshman, who was a back row attacker in that play. Clayton down the line off the chicken wing effort of Oshman and down. Wow, look at that effort from Nick Kasperzak. That looked a little bit weird, sort of like a stutter step and stop and flat foot jump, and he was still able to find the corner. Nick Kasperzak's having himself a really nice match. Let's see what he's got here from the service line. Beautiful cross-court swing by Bundy. Got to swap out a volleyball here. Matt Clayton to serve. Good pressure right on top of the net and a smart play by Lee Olenek. Not to take a swing as Ritter the blocker was closing, but just to tap it over him and find some space. Excellent pressure from Matt Clayton. We are tied up at 10. <laughs> Good dodge there by Oshman. He came across the back line and to get out of the way of that thing. Oh, nice touch. Is this ball retrievable? Yes. Love against two blockers, just sends it over. He takes McCandless out of the play. Wilden blocked and covered. Wilden again against two blockers, rolled short. 
That last block touch was definitely in his head as he chose that time to go off speed, and he comes up short. Break point on the serve of Colin Rader. Boston's lead is two. Another error. Oh, never mind. That ball is touched. A touch called immediately and admitted to by Hunter Oshman. Uh, maybe a bit of a break there for the D.C. Dynasty. They're within one. No, not anymore. That is not a good service error by Leo Lenick. Coming up badly short on a float serve. Uh, yeah, Craig, I agree in the chat. Some of, some of the serving needs to, needs to be elevated a little bit in its overall level. That one a pretty easy one on Wilden's platform. Bundy against one blocker. Excellent dig by Ritter. Oshman deep cross court. Clayton is there. McCamless runs it down, but this is a free ball chance. Burgos, Ritter, Oshman rattled around the block of Wilden and covered. And Vautrin, wow, look at that adjustment. That ball was set too far outside. And he jumped practically backwards to keep his shoulders behind the ball and was able to take a swing that produced a kill through the block and out of bounds. Boston's lead is three. It all started with some defense right there by Colin Ritter. Time out dynasty. This is the fourth match of the weekend for the Boston Bounce. This is the fifth match of the weekend for the DC Dynasty. That much volleyball in two days is so much. It is difficult to push through tournaments like this and keep your level high in the final. That is what is being asked of these two teams. Boston has been here before. A veteran VLA franchise looking to go to the playoffs for the third season in a row at the Tier 1 level. The DC Dynasty, the exact opposite. The new kids on the block with a ton of talent and a lot to prove. That is an ace serve. Wow, not able to be brought back. Good effort by Bundy, chasing it down by his own bench. But Ryan Love has delivered his team a four-point lead in set four, 15-11. And this four-man serve reception unit for DC has not done them super well. They have given up more aces than they have passed great balls with this configuration. That is a bomb by Love. A decent recycle shot there by Wilden. Now Bundy down the line. Beautiful dig by Aprea. Oshman gets a fist on it. He's able to beat the dynasty to the ball. Wow. I think Jason Perkins thought he had a free overpass play, but Oshman got up in time to get a knuckle on it, send it over and find some space. Now the DC dynasty needs their final timeout down 16-11. They can feel this championship match slipping away ever so slightly. I don't know how many five-point leads we've had in either direction at any point in this entire match. That's how competitive and back and forth this thing has been. But Boston now smells blood in the water. Can they finish the deal here?
Wow, what a serve by Love out of the timeout. That thing had weird movement on it. Wilden dug by Aprea. Excellent move. Vatran to extend the lead. Deep cross court and in plus a net violation. It is a six point Boston lead. Ryan Love is doing some serious work from the service line right now. Another ace serve! Unbelievable effort by Ryan Love. Dynasty is out of timeouts. They will bring in Grant Holve, number 19. There's a more ball control oriented outside hitter in for Matt Clayton, but there is very little that they can do now against an 18-11 bounce lead. Even with that Ryan Love service error, that run that he just went on might, might win the Boston bounce, the East Division Cup. Burgos, that ball is in, is the call. And t okay, touch is what I thought that the call would be. Uh, we have another, another substitution actually for DC. Francis Becknell, number 12, in in the middle. Becknell, a six foot seven middle from the University of Maryland. Uh, and he admitted to touching that ball after that point was over. Now uh, Alex Raskin in once again for Boston to really put the nail in, in the coffin here with a couple serves. Here goes the lefty spinner. Good pass by Marcola Gatas. Decent touch against Becknell's first swing. Vautrin high off the hands of McCandless. Oshman high off the hands as well. Good diving play made, but uh, Wilden has to send over a free ball. Love steps in to set. Oshman deep cross court. Good rally developing here. Defense on both sides. Good block touch and again covered by DC. This time, Wilden finally able to beat the block cross court. Wow, I was just about to say, Dynasty needs a service run from Bobby Wilden right here if they have a chance, and they just got the beginnings of one. A serve shanked by Jordan Aprea. That thing had the strangest movement on it. That's a really good pass. Oshman destroyed on the right side. What a bomb. That is a tooth grinding kill from number 20 in white. Who goes back to serve with a six point lead and five points away from winning the tournament. That ball is crushed out of bounds by Becknell. I think that's the right call. He was pushed a little bit too far towards that sideline to be able to hit that turn shot and keep it in. And uh, he gives a thumbs up. I think he knew he missed it by just a hair. And uh, that is the last thing that the dynasty can afford. Bounce can taste it now. Off the tape and kept alive. Bundy out of the back row, missed it out of bounds. Never mind. Touch called by Vautrin. Admitted to honorably by the Boston captain. Beck now with his first chance from the service line. That ball is in, right on the baseline from Hunter Oshman. Not by much. 
It is 22 to 15. Jeff Fautern and the Boston Bounce are three points away from their first VLA Cup Series tournament win in franchise history. Fautern looking to do it in style, goes a bit long out the back. The easy serve from McCandless. Love, high flat off the fingertips. Wilden is there, Wilden in transition. Bombed out of the back row. Talk about an individual effort on that play. Bobby Wilden still swinging for the fences in the fifth match for the DC Dynasty of the weekend. That is an impressive individual play. Pretty good cover there by Ritter. Love cross court. Wilden again out of the back row, finds another kill. Wait, yeah, that, that ball is in, I agree with the call. Man, Bobby Wilden just, uh, no, again, no pun intended, trying to will his team back from an almost impossible deficit. Timeout Boston. I'm gonna go make a camera swap that'll hopefully help our quality before the end of this match, or the, at least the end of this set, we'll see. Clutch side out there for Boston with the tournament on the line. It is 23 to 18. Lexi De La Cruz is going to come in off the bench for Nick Kasperzak, who's done an extremely good job. Oh, a tip trickler! Unbelievable! I can't. I. Cannot believe that that ball had enough speed to make it over the tape. That crawled over the tape to set up match point, championship point for the Boston Bounce. Could this be their first East Division Cup title? De La Cruz for the win. Good pressure. Wilden out of the back row, missed it out of bounds. The Boston Bounce. Yes, that ball is hit out of bounds and a franchise-defining win for the Boston Bounce. They win the East Division Cup. Three sets to one over the DC Dynasty in the final. Boston has clinched a playoff spot. They have clinched, uh, they have the inside track to winning the East Division for the first time ever and they get a beautiful trophy to go home with, which I will be presenting to them in just one moment.
Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it. Congratulations to the Boston Bounce. They just, I just gave them the cup. Celebrations have begun. They said that this is long overdue. And uh, they will absolutely be a threat in the VLA Cup in May and at the Tier 1 Championship in June. The Boston Bounce is the first team to officially qualify for the Tier 1 playoffs. Again, huge congratulations now as they form in, in, at the net to take photos to so the DC Dynasty. What an amazing maiden voyage they had into the VLA, their first full-scale VLA event as a team, and they get all the way to the final, and they beat Team LVC in doing so. A uh, huge, huge respect for Coach Jared Tulla and the DC Dynasty. I cannot wait to see them at the VLA Cup in May as well. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with that in mind, the VLA Cup, uh, the weekend of May 17th and 18th, is the next time you will see full-scale Volleyball League of America action. We have had so much volleyball that we've played since, the, since late January, a full month in February, a full month of March, coast-to-coast -coast volleyball here through early April. We've got about a month, little over a month, to rest and prepare and get all of our teams to Madison, Wisconsin for what will be the biggest tournament in VLA history. So right here on YouTube is where you can follow along with that. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Give us a follow on Instagram at VLA Volleyball. This league is only continuing to grow and uh, our next event will be the biggest and best yet. In the meantime, I and the rest of us are going to go home and go to sleep. I think everyone here deserves it. We thank you all so much for watching all weekend long at the East Division Cup. Congratulations again to the Boston Bounce and the DC Dynasty on brilliant events. And uh, we're excited to see both of them and all of our teams and all of you at the VLA Cup in Madison. Rob St. Clair signing off for now. Thank you all so much.